My name's Jesse, and today is a transitional period. So today is October 1st, which marks the opening of duck season here in Maine. So this afternoon, I'm heading out with a buddy named Aaron. I'll introduce you to him here in a second, but we are gonna go out just for a quick little duck hunt. Haven't done much scouting yet, so this is more of a scouting mission. Um, so we'll see, we might get a duck, we might not. I actually have some big plans for the future. If you guys wanna see that, you'll just have to stick around later in the video to find out where I'm going next. So let's introduce you to Aaron here. We'll find out what we're hunting for and, and we'll see how the day goes. We might get one, we might not, but uh, either way, we're gonna have a good time. Not really sure what to expect today. Uh, we're gonna be hitting some coastal marshes as well as uh, some inland streams. Uh, the coastal marsh, we might get some black ducks or teal. You know, I haven't looked at it yet early season, but might get lucky with some uh, wood ducks or maybe a stray black duck or two, and maybe even a mallard. There's quite a few in the area, so. Gonna head out on this marsh back here and scout around, see if we can't jump a couple black ducks and go from there. If we see nothing, we'll move on. So anyway, let's get right to it. Nothing. All right, it's this thing. So we're at spot number two. We're gonna walk our way down and who knows, we might see a rough grouse and by the time we get back where we're going, down here, maybe we'll have a duck, but I think I'm just gonna film for starters and let Aaron do the shooting. That way I can't miss. <laughs> yeah, that's okay with me. Wow, that is a lot of turkeys. Those are pretty big. I think they're probably like nine pounds. They fit in my freezer. Look at them all. There's more. We should go get one. I'll eat it. There's like 20 turkeys there. Or more. 20, 30. Jeez, you should have brought the turkey loads. These would work here if you were living well, if we walk up to them, see what happens. Beautiful. It's a good year for them. Oh, that, that's so many birds. Just a pile of them. They really don't care. See him on your left? Yep. Oh. Get a good headshot. Looks like one's flapping. I think I got him. Yeah, you did. Well, um, this is definitely not what we intended to come out here to get, but we walked up on, geez, how many turkeys there? 20, 30 turkeys, and I am currently out of turkey, so we just kind of ran up on them, and I took the first best shot that I could. I wasn't looking for size. Whew, it is toasty out here. Yeah, you, you moved? I was hoofing it, yeah, because, I mean, the only chance we had it, they knew we were there. We were stalking them for, I don't know, a good five minutes, and then we just decided, hey, we got a duck load in as long as we can get close enough and get in position we can get a good shot and uh, potentially get a turkey so I, I ran up and got as close as I could because I wanted to make sure you know it was a clean kill shooting was that steel nope it was bismuth so I would have took a bet a different shot had I known that I bull oh, that's big brass yeah okay well I guess I could have taken a better or a longer shot little did I know but we made it happen and uh, we're gonna go get this guy tagged and run off so Aaron can get his duck now this was unexpected. <laughs> that was cool. Thanks for taking me out, man. Very cool. Not the target species, but hey, that's gonna make some good dinner and we're gonna hike our way out, go tag this, and then go after some ducks.
hearing protection. Don't if you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. All right, let's go get some ducks. Yes, sir. Not much you could do about that. That was just, you know, tough luck. We didn't have long, so. Those are black ducks too, huh? Yeah. Well, so in the end, we did end up finding some black ducks, but they were, by the time we saw them, they were way back there. And of course they saw us too. So didn't end up getting those ones. They flew, flew away long before we could get near them. And yeah, I couldn't make it happen, but that's all right. And uh, you'll be seeing Aaron again. This isn't our last duck hunt. This was literally the first day that we could hunt duck. So tough luck for that, but hey, that's how she goes. We got some scouting done. Hey, we do know there's ducks here, right? Say goodbye to Aaron in the comments. Uh, we'll be seeing him soon. Uh, maybe we'll sit on some decoys. Maybe we'll do some jump shooting. Which one would you guys rather see? We'll probably do some of both. So comment down below what you would like to see, and I will see you guys in the pickup. Well, that's too bad, man. Those are big ducks. Usually they're very really nice. In here. Oh, 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 There's a duck right there. <sighs> wow. I'm on the board. Okay, well. Right at the last minute, too. Yeah, we literally have one minute left. <laughs> what, a black duck? Yes, sir. A little one. Wow. Well, there you go. You got your dinner. I do. You must be pretty happy. That was cutting it so close. Really close. So uh, that was kind of unexpected. Literally just got done talking like this quite loud. And that duck was maybe 50 yards from us, not even. So I start walking forward. And the next thing I see is a little duck's head pop over above some grass. Two minutes of shooting light left. And Aaron got his dinner. So today was a really fun day. But now we're heading out and my day's not over. I got a lot to do. Clean that turkey. And when I get back in the pickup, I'll tell you what we're doing next. I did have some big plans for that night, but because I harvested that, that turkey, um, you have to respect it. And that means cleaning it out, making sure that the meat's preserved. And uh, so I put most of it in the freezer and I left some out tonight that we're gonna prepare into a, an awesome dish right now. So tonight we are gonna be pre preparing a really cool recipe. This is something that is so simple and anyone can do. It's essentially a stir fry. Uh, the kicker with this recipe is that it is presented so well. It's beautifully presented and it's, uh, it's a very simple manner of doing so. So if you guys wanna prepare a nice meal for someone, this would be a good option. So let's jump right into this recipe. I am gonna link the list of all the ingredients down below because I didn't put them all in this image here. <laughs> uh, but essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut open this pineapple. And the goal of it is to hollow out the pineapple. So you're gonna remove all the interior, cut the core out, and then set some of that aside for later. Um, and what that leaves you with is essentially just a bowl that we can put the food in later. So now we're just gonna cut up the ingredients, some garlic, the red peppers, uh, green onions, and of course, cube up the turkey. Put a pan on the stove, put that on medium heat, and uh, let that warm up for a bit before adding in the turkey. Now, once I do this, I like to let that go for like five minutes, and while I'm waiting, I make my sauce. So that's gonna be just some pineapple juice, soy sauce. Add in some hoisin sauce. And then some brown sugar. I didn't have it, so I used golden. And also I apologize for this shot, but for whatever reason, I found this really satisfying. And after that, we're just gonna finish 
throwing in the rest of our ingredients, put in the red bell pepper, some of that pineapple, a little ginger, uh, the garlic, and then mix that together, let it go for another five minutes. Add in your sauce, bring that to a simmer, and that's it. This meal probably took me with prep time and filming only 45 minutes, which says a lot because filming you know, doubles the time it takes to make something. I think this turned out really well. Uh, this dish is really just all about presentation. It's super simple to prepare. I mean, just mixing a couple ingredients. And if you don't feel like making your own sauce, you can just go buy something. So yeah, it, it looks beautiful, uh, but it also tastes delicious. And this. <laughs> mm. It is so good. I don't know why I always try it, because I know it's going to be good, because I'm kind of a biased opinion to begin with anyway. So can confirm it is delicious. Good. So Marin <laughs> thinks it's delicious. You'll have to take her word. I like I like the uh, balance of the pineapple and the turkey and all of that in the soy sauce. Also didn't expect, I guess I never really expected to have a turkey stir fry, but I'm happy. I like it. It's really good. You should try it. I really hope you guys enjoyed that recipe. I thought it was absolutely delicious and so did Marin. So we are I'm actually standing by the table right now <laughs> filming this. So I'm gonna wrap this up so we can go enjoy our meal. Uh, but I did have big plans for the future and I promised I would tell you guys about that. After this, I'm actually heading to Northern Maine where I'm originally from, the county. And I'm gonna spend the next three days up in the North Maine woods. Um, we're gonna do some catch and cooks. We'll do some hunting videos and it's just gonna be an overall great time. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you hit subscribe so you can find this channel again. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, guys. It helps my channel out more than you know, and I really appreciate it. So I guess I'll see you guys up north. Um, have a good night, and uh, thanks for joining.